Happy New Year's everyone and welcome back to a new video and this is the first video of the year uh, also I just came back from Adelaide for holiday and it was such a great uh, experience and now let's get into this so for this tutorial I'm gonna show you how um, to create like charts and this one is based on Google one so here you can see that um, it's called react Google charts and it's quite popular as well now um, let's have a quick run through at this so this is how we install it and this is the quick start um, also here we can create row columns uh, table uh, this is chart events and we can also see some sample as well so this is like area charts bar chart a lot of charts here now let's uh, see this one the calendar charts and um, I'm going to open it into an, uh, a new tab and we are gonna open a few so uh, again charts this is what I want and this charts geo chart and we got pie chart step area charts table timeline waterfall or yeah uh, this one the word tree all right so now I'm gonna open this one here the calendar one so this looks something like this, this is just a simple example and we're gonna uh, run some of this as well and change some uh, data to see what it reflects on the new uh, data which change so this is the redox attendance and uh, this is the GAN chart so, so it looks something like this and this look like a uh, memory CPU or it can be like a speed driving speed something so we can also do something like this as well using the sample code and this is geo chart so geo chart basically like a world map and uh, this one for this example uh, based on the popularity and we're going to change the tag here as well and we got different type of map and this one here is the uh, word tree so basically this is like uh, grouping all of the word together so say here this one uh, cats are better than dogs then cats are better than and this is whatever the data coming from there so first of all we're gonna look or we try to create which is this one, the calendar uh, chart. So I'm going to copy this um, data. And then uh, right now we have only um, say hi there on our React. So this is um, new React application. So I'm going to also uh, install it using this command. So this is the one and now I'm in my directory and try to install this library so by the time that it's installing right now um, I want to also show you one interesting things which is the ability to right here the load data from spreadsheet so when I click open here you will see that um, the data can actually get it from this spreadsheet using this URL. So I'm going to open this one here and go to. So you can see that the data actually coming from the uh, Google um, spreadsheet. So this coming from the Excel file. So the data can actually um, render or load from this um, URL and try to put it into this property by then we can use the data from the spreadsheet to show it on the graph right here all right so um, we are not going to do this in this um, tutorial so what I try to do which is some of these charts so now let's go back and see if it's already installed all right so here has been installed now let me try to run this uh, react application Right, cool. So um, now it's run properly, and I just need to 
have some of the sample code here and then I'm going to replace it with the existing one which is right here and data we're not going to use this what I need is actually the uh, so this is from the previous example I'm going to change the name to Google Charts and replace it here and then um, this is just the chart itself so that should be fine right now what I need is actually the body so this is the code that stay inside the um, render so I just paste it here and this render so we already declared on top here that mean that we don't actually need this otherwise we get error um, you can see that react dom is not defined so that's the issue so we can just get rid of this and save again to see what we can see if it's actually rendering it's a loading chart so here it is um, now we can see that we can get this uh, charts up and running what I need to do next is to change some of the data so these uh, Red Sox uh, attendance and this is the um, data from this here up to here alright so what I need to do I can just add a new one so I'm gonna copy this paste it down here going to be 2019 or maybe 2020 and it should be today um, this should be January and the date which is uh, four right here and then the participation just give a random value which is here when I click on sale now let's see if we can actually get this right so we can see that the number actually changed the thing is that we can't actually scroll down so what I need to do I need to change the height of um, this uh, chart so it should be around I just put a random number to see if we can actually get this fixed alright so here we can see uh, from 2012 up to 2020 so that should be fine and um, here that uh, the date which is today um, February um, it's actually not February Alright, so um, it says February 4th. Alright, so I think this is because um, the value start from 0. So let me try to put it as 0. This is for months. Now we can see that. Alright, so here it is. Uh, January 4th, 2020. Which this uh, amount of the uh, attendance. Alright, so um, next one here. I'm going to uh, try to install this one and uh, just copy all of this and put it under the reacts which is here and then see if we can get this up and run here it is so this is the GAN chart you can have all of this and next one for this one um, I'm go not gonna try to install it here because um, this related to all of the components uh, did mount and everything and this code is actually the um, old code which is not react hooks and if you want to see me how to convert from this to uh, react hooks uh, let me know I'll try to create a new video on how to show and install this by the way uh, we can quickly look into this so what it does is try to use the random function uh, multiply by 100 and this is the duration which is one second uh, a thousand uh, milliseconds and that's why you can see that it keep running uh, again and again so this is uh, what the function does all right so here is the geo chart for this one here the same I'm going to copy this and put it into the uh, react application here so gonna be here and see if we can get this 
All right, here it is. So let me zoom in a little bit. And this is the Canada with the popularity, which is 500. This is um, Russia, which is 700. I'm going to put my country or the same with Australia as well. So first my country, Cambodia. And um, the popularity, just give a random value, which is 800 and Australia, which is where I am now. Um, let me put this as 100. Now let's go back and see. Here it is. So this is Australia, popularity 100, Cambodia, which is right here. Let me zoom in a little bit. Um, right here, popularity, just put a random value. And um, all right, so here, United States, and this is Brazil. And you can see that the charts right here from 100 to 800. All right, so that's how we install it. And next one, which is the last one, the word tree. Again, just try to copy this and put it into the React apps. All right, let me save it. And here it is, it's still loading. So cats are better than dogs, hamster, kitten. Let me try to copy this here. Um, let me see, better than fish. See if we can get it changed. Right, here you go. So it tried to group the word which is the same into uh, its categories and then it try to break down each of these level into the uh, smaller pieces or smaller levels so that's uh, pretty much it for this tutorial we have looked into um, how to actually install this library and there's a lot more you can see so we got all of these charts and um, also let me know as well if you want to see uh, any other charts from this page. I'll try to create a new video on that and otherwise uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. See you guys in the next video.